Uh, but we are back, folks. It's Monday, and what a weekend it was. What a weekend. Congrats, first of all, to all the Emmy winners uh, last night, especially Key and Peele, uh, my boys, and uh, John Oliver. Congratulations on that Emmy. Well deserved. Yeah. Both. Both great shows, and both lucky that Game of Thrones wasn't in their category. Yeah. <laughs> Once Khaleesi starts going, doing comedy, guys, it's, uh, it's over. <laughs> Just so you know, it's over. Uh, but the big news this weekend, the biggest news, happened in New York. We start with breaking news out of New York this morning. 29 people were injured Saturday night in what officials say was an intentional explosion at the busy Manhattan neighborhood of Chelsea. The noise was deafening, like a thousand fireworks going off, people running, um, wiping their eyes and just terrified. It sounded like a million pianos just dropped. Wow. This uh, really was a frightening experience. Saturday night, uh, there was a terrorist attack in New York City, and fortunately, no one was killed. And can I just give a shout out to all of the first responders who rushed in to assist at the scene. Seeing those images was honestly one of the most amazing thing. People running in to help. That was truly amazing. So congrats to, to all of those people. Uh, and by the way, I love that piano kid. Just by the way. <laughs> no, but that's, that's how you know you live in a first world country. <laughs> when, when your children describe explosions <laughs> as pianos falling. <laughs> yes. I doubt in Syria they have that problem. <laughs> what did it sound like? It sounded like a bomb. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Someone was like, the only thing I know that's loud is a piano falling. Yes, <laughs> that's what that is. Uh, and you know, I, I live in New York, and I, I thought I was getting the hang of it. You know, I know where the best pizza is. Uh, I know how to avoid rats on the subway. You know, <laughs> just don't make eye contact. Um, <laughs> and, and I know which Elmo in Times Square sells the best weed. <laughs> but this weekend, this weekend taught me that being a New Yorker is so much more than just buying weed and taking the subway down to get some pizza. <laughs> you know, because the news, if you're watching the news, they made it sound like everyone in New York was panicking, but real New Yorkers, they weren't terrorized. They were inconvenienced. I'm here saying I need to go to work tomorrow. I need my car. We we're supposed to go see a movie tonight. That shut down. People were more concerned about why the subways weren't running as smoothly as they normally are. We were just driving on park and you couldn't turn it to half the blocks. So what were you thinking? I'm thinking, should I be sitting here still enjoying my meal at BBQ's? I am waiting here to see when I can go get my car from over there. It's, it's, a, it's a rental. <laughs> it's a rental. It's a rental. That is insane. She rented a car in New York City. Who are you, lady? <laughs> Who are you? Haven't you heard of Uber? Who is this person? New Yorkers are hard, man. A bomb went off in Chelsea. And that same night, a few blocks away, people were partying in the club. <laughs> Just like everyone's like, hey, do you hear about the bomb that went off a few blocks? Yeah, man, that's the consequence of living in a free society, man. <laughs> yeah, I know you want me. Woo, I know I want you. Woo, you know I want you. That's New York. These people, I, I mean, I guess when you think about it, it makes sense, because this is the same city where there's so much danger all the time that basically all the superheroes have to live here. <laughs> think about it, that'll harden you. It's the Ninja Turtles live here, uh, Daredevil, uh, Spider-Man always fights in crime here, right? Although, although I think Spider-Man, that's like, he only can fight crime in New York. Probably tried the <laughs> in Kansas and it didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, there's no buildings, he's just running around, like, I don't know. I, 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 I swear, where I'm from, I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero. You do, if you had buildings, man, I would be showing you right now. I would be showing you right now. And, and by the way, this is great news. As of right now, the police have a suspect in custody, which is amazing. Within two days, in a region of 20 million people, they managed to find and arrest the suspect. Although, although, they did get a little help from some civic-minded New Yorkers. Two thieves ended up helping police in this investigation. The pair found that pressure cooker bomb in Chelsea that didn't go off Saturday night. It was in a rolling suitcase that the pair was stealing on West 27th Street. They opened up the bag. They found the bomb inside. They put the bomb in a garbage bag and then left with the empty suitcase. The thieves inadvertently disabled the explosive when they took it out of the bag. And that allowed investigators to examine the cell phone that was attached to the bomb. And that phone eventually helped investigators find Ahmad Rahami's family. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> I guess crime does pay. <laughs> huh? The thieves stole the bag that had the buck. You know, you know, 
You know when you watch movies and like people act like experts when defusing a bomb? What do you gotta do? What do you got? And these guys are just like, ah, oh, there's a bomb in the bed. Ah. <laughs> just zip. Yeah, it turns out all you need is confidence. Meh. <laughs> Bag gone. That's a testament to how badass New Yorkers are. And also how expensive luggage is. <laughs> you just can't take your eyes off it. I finally understand why Ben Carson reacted like this. He said he learned a lot of things. What do you think he took oh, away from, from my, today? My luggage. <laughs> uh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, then he ran to New York. My luggage. My luggage. Not only were New Yorkers not affected by the bomb, New Yorkers were genuinely annoyed by having to deal with the bombing. I've never seen anything like this, because early this morning, right, the city of New York sent an emergency alert to everyone's phone to be on the lookout for a particular suspect. And New Yorkers were so mad that the alert woke them up. <laughs> Everyone was tweeting about it. My favorite, my favorite tweet was this one, where someone said, I'm sick and tired of the alert <laughs> spamming my phone. <laughs> Whoever know where this bitch at, please tell 911 so I can <laughs> sleep. That, that is badass. The person is sick and tired. It's the first time you ever got a terror alert. I'm already sick and tired. I've never seen anyone hit the snooze button on a terrorism alert before. And I, I just, I just love the idea. I just love the idea that people were more pissed off about this than the actual act of terrorism. I wonder if terrorists are now like looking at these, these tweets like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you know how hard it is to make bombs? I could have just sent people messages in the morning. This is all I needed to terrorize them. Forget the C4, we just need unlimited texting plans. What's going on here? Hey there, it's The Daily Show's Trevor Noah. We have our own YouTube channel now, so uh, please do subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll wait so you can... I won't even look, just because I know that's weird. Sort of like when a dog's doing its thing. You can just... Yeah, just subscribe. I won't, I won't look.